Tis the season to celebrate this morning. Free expert advice on how to handle overserved family and friends at holiday gatherings. Melissa Fors is with the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation, and she is here with us this morning just to chat about what we can do to make this holiday season a little bit better when it comes to drinking. Well, thanks for having me, and it's actually more common than you think. A lot of families struggle at this time of year, and it doesn't have to be uh, disheartening for these families. They don't have to dread the holidays if they plan ahead. So if you've got a family member that typically comes and overindulges and sort of ruins the holidays, you can talk to them ahead of time when they're not intoxicated. <laughs> okay. Set some boundaries. You can let them know that they, your expectation is that they, when they come to your house, that they're not intoxicated, that they're sober, and that if they overindulge, that you're gonna ask them to leave, obviously not letting them drive. Full transparency, I kind of chuckled because I know that family yes. member in my family, yes. it's my cousin Dwight. Yes. How do we have yes. that talk with him? What do we say? Yes, you, you talk to him from a place, not of judgment, but of love and care, and you can let him know that you're concerned, and it's also for you about self-care. So it's about you and your family wanting to enjoy the holidays and not having someone come and ruin it. So setting those boundaries ahead of time when they're not intoxicated is important. And if you're concerned, if there is that person who every time you think that they really have a problem with drugs and alcohol, you can really express that concern. And sometimes they are struggling and they don't know how to ask for help. So sometimes it's just you reaching out your hand and opening up the conversation. So tips for having that conversation because for those who do deal with sobriety, this can be a tough time of the year. Yeah, if people are trying to be sober at this time of year, whether they're brand new sober or they have been for a long time, um, as a host, if you're hosting the party, you can talk to them ahead of, ahead of time, make sure that you've got non-alcoholic beverages for them. Um, and if you're that person, you can really focus on your self-care. You can bring a sober companion with you to these events. You, one of my favorite tips to give people is to always have a non-alcoholic drink in your hand. Mm. Then no one ever offers you something. That's good advice. A uh, bottle of water or just like mm -hmm. a Shirley Temple, Sprite mm -hmm. and Grenadine. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about some of the services you all offer. So uh, at Hazelden and Betty Ford, we have five sites in Minnesota. And so we treat everyone from adolescents all the way through adults. This is a time of year when so many people struggle. And there's just so much going on. There's extra stressors. So if someone has traditionally struggled with drugs and alcohol, it's all exacerbated at this time of year. So it's really important to see if they want some professional help. Please give us a call at Hazelden Betty Ford or seek other professional help because we do know that treatment works and people can get better. Absolutely, and I know some folks who've been treated at your center and they are thriving now. Oh, great. So That's thank great you so much for being here with us and happy holidays to you and yours. For more information about alcohol or drug abuse and treatments available, just head over to care11.com. We will create a link to Hazelden's website and more on our 11 a.m. show page. 